Hey everyone, Alex here with DEF CON Paintball and today we're looking at something very, very cool, very, very interesting, which is living in this little black box right here. And that is the Rocket R150 Long Range Firing System. What is that? It is a system that allows you to remote detonate smoke grenades or pyrotechnics like fireworks. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, obviously, I'll show you what it comes in out of the box, then I'll get right into it. Um, instruction manual, of course, you're gonna wanna read those because it's, you know, it's not complicated, but there are some nuances to setting this all up and having it function properly. So read the manual, and then that way you'll, you know, get the most bang for your buck. Then you have your receivers, which are these little guys right here. Each of these receivers is, of course, wireless. They have 150 meter range from the remote, and each of them has four channels or cues. In the instructions, they call them cues, but channel works too. And each of these is basically linked to your little remote. So with the remote, you can actually select which cue or channel you have selected, and then detonate it. And you can scroll through them and do them in whatever order and however you like. It's really, really neat. Other than all that stuff, you have what are called talon clips, and these are basically just the wiring to connect the actual device to the receiver. Each of these cues is capable of having up to three devices connected to it, meaning it, you could have up to 12 devices on each receiver, 36 total, which is a lot of smoke and fire and stuff like that. It does actually have a testing mode, so you can actually check the connections of everything before you kind of get right into it and make sure everything's working properly before you hit the red button. And there's just a lot of different things you can do with this. It's really more focused towards like um, field staff and game organizers and stuff like that. But if you're organizing stuff like scenario games and you want to make it much more atmospheric, much cooler when you know objectives are achieved, when things get blown up, what have you. You can actually add in you know, real smoke and fireworks and things like that. It'll work with anything that has a, a fuse, so it works with traditional fireworks because you would just light those anyway and you just attach the talent clip to that. And it'll work with smoke grenades that are wire pull as well. You do have to basically dig out the fuse from the smoke grenade. We are gonna show you how to do that. It's not complicated, it's just, you know, you can't just use the wire pull. Um, so we're gonna show you a couple different setups, a couple different ideas of what you can do with these receivers. They have a lot of versatility because uh, you can hook up so many different things to them. And uh, yeah, let's just jump right into it. Now, before we get into the full setup of this bad boy, of course, gotta talk about safety. We are dealing with pyrotechnic devices here, so safety is an issue. Um, there are some things that you should always be doing if you're ever dealing with fireworks of any kind. Um, one of them is obviously just wear eye and hand protection. Just wear eye protection and wear gloves. Um, of course, if you're in a paintball field, you should be wearing eye protection anyway, but if you're setting this up maybe before the game, still wear eye protection just in case. Uh, another thing is never stand over any of the fireworks if you, they are fireworks you're setting up. Don't, you know, stand in the path. If they were to just magically go off, try to not be in their way. It's just generally a good rule of thumb with fireworks. And the last thing is basically while you're setting it up, try to have something on hand that you could put out a firework if it did accidentally go off, like a bucket of water or a fire extinguisher or both, you know? Uh, just make sure that if something were to go wrong, you are prepared to deal with it. So, when you're gonna start rigging up your pyrotechnics or smoke grenades or whatever to your wireless firing system, you're gonna wanna grab one of your talon clips. Now the talon clips have two ends. They have the actual clip end, and then they have the exposed wire. You wanna take the exposed wire and actually fold it in half. That's gonna make sure that it has a better connection in the terminal. And then you're gonna take one wire each, and you're gonna put it in the black channel and the red channel on one of the cues. Now it doesn't matter which one you put in which, there's no polar polarity as long as one is in the red side and one is in the black side. Can't really do it wrong. Now, once it's hooked up, you can actually test it to make sure if it is in fact hooked up right. You wanna make sure the switch on the top is on test mode, not fire mode, and then turn the power switch on the side, and then it's gonna light up. 
any cues that are successfully and properly hooked up are gonna have a little green light under them. And if they're not, then the light will be out, just like the other three cues. So as you can see, we have hooked up Q1 properly. And we just turn off the unit again. So once we have the talon clip actually attached to the receiver, we gotta work on our smoke grenade. So in the case of a wire pull smoke grenade, you wanna remove the cap, and then you wanna basically punch a hole in this little plastic covering. Remove some of the plastic and paper, like so. And then there's a little clear plastic tube that you wanna pull the fuse out of. Just like that. Once you have the fuse out, you get our receiver. You wanna take the actual clip part of it, and of course you want the receiver and the remote to be off the entire time you're doing this. Open the clip, and you wanna put it as far down the fuse as you can, because the longer, the, uh, the more that, of the fuse that is exposed, the longer the delay on the actual smoke grenade will be. So the closer to the actual grenade that the clip is, the quicker it'll go off after you hit that button. Once you get it on there, you just wanna give it a little squeeze so you know it's closed. And you wanna make sure not to slide the clip on the actual fuse, because if you slide it around, you could break the tiny little wire in there. The wire is basically like a light bulb filament that heats up once you press a button, and you don't wanna break that, because then it won't work anymore. Once that is attached, just like that, you have connected a smoke grenade to your receiver. Simply turn the receiver on, turn your remote on, get it to the right cue, hit the button, hold it down for a second, that smoke grenade is gonna go off. That's the simple way to do it. So that's one grenade on one cue. Now we're gonna show you how to hook up a little bit more than that. So when it comes to hooking up more than one device to the same cue, obviously, you're gonna need more than one talent clip. So since we'll be connecting two devices to Q2, you wanna take both of the ends with the exposed wires. Take one end from each talent clip and twist them together. Once it's been twisted together, fold it over just like you did before. And remember, you're not twisting both ends of one talon clip to each other, you're twisting one from each to each other. And then fold it over. Once that is done, do the same thing as before. We're gonna hook one into the red terminal, one into the black terminal. Go. And of course, leaving the switch in the test mode, I'm gonna turn it on, and I've got a green light, so we're good. So, moving some of these out of the way, we're gonna grab a red peony, because, you know, why not? Now again, you're gonna wanna make sure this fuse, this fuse is nice and clean, there's no paper or anything on it, just to make sure the connection is good. Take one of your clips, and again, make sure it's as close to the actual fireworks as possible. Just clip it down like that. That one is attached. We're gonna grab a second smoke grenade, because more smokes is more better. I've already exposed the fuse on this one. And let's get that right on there. And put that into place. And there you have it. So with our current setup, I could switch to Q1, detonate my first smoke grenade, and then switch to Q2, and it's gonna detonate both this smoke grenade and this firework at the same time, which is pretty great. As you can see, you could just keep going with this and just keep connecting them to new cues. You could use more receivers, and at the end of the day, you can hook up quite a few devices and have them all controlled by a single remote, which is, pretty awesome. It's, uh, as you can see, it's not overly complicated to set up, fairly simple. You're really just clipping wires to stuff, and um, that's pretty much all there is to it. So that's your wireless long-range smoke grenade detonation system. 150 meters, this could turn your average scenario game into just the most awesome experience with smoke and pyrotechnics and all kinds of stuff going off. So. Really, really, really neat 
Um, we think this is just like one of the coolest products we've seen in a while. Um, what do you guys think about it? Do you have, uh, you know, do you want to know more about this? And um, yeah, like you got comments. Have you ever seen anything like this used in a game? Um, obviously, we're going to want to show this off. So that's going to be part two of our video. That's going to be coming soon. And we're actually going to take it out to a field, set up some cool smokes and fireworks and stuff like that. And we're going to show you exactly what this device can do. So, you know, if you got comments about it, leave them below, like and subscribe as always, and thank you for watching.